Hello everyone, my name is Grethid here from ZeroOneGaming.com and NoobcastGaming.com. Uh, instead of doing Monday news like I should be doing, I just found this particular little tidbit and I'm sharing it with folks that aren't in the Twin Cities area. If you are a gamer and remember the days of going to the arcade as a kid, you know, that place that you wanted to go on Saturdays and you just beg mom or dad to drop you off there. Well, there's a museum called Rustic Quarters, uh, which is in dire straits right now. Uh, basically, this place you could go was, it was a place you could go where you could relive the arcade experience, go and play classic arcade games, challenge your friends to whatever games you want to play, what have you. Here's what's going on. Because some of the weird weather we've had here in the Twin Cities, they're actually hurting quite a bit. Um, on their website, they have this letter to their current patrons. Dear customers, First, I would like to thank you for your continuing support through our current rough patch. As I mentioned earlier last week, April and most of May were really hard on rusty quarters. Due to the harsh and sometimes weird weather, very little foot traffic and a lack of revenue from private events, rusty quarters on, is on the brink of closure. Annie and I have spent every penny of our personal savings to keep rusty quarters afloat with being Annie and I have spent every penny of our personal savings to keep Rusty Quarters afloat and with being declined for a small business loan, we will not be able to pay May's back rent. Bottom line, we need to come up with $3,000 by June 8th or we have to close Rusty Quarters for good. This is very hard for someone to ask another stranger for help, but if we can't raise $3,000 in 15 days, we will be forced to close. If it wasn't for your support, we wouldn't have had stayed open for this long. But now I must swallow my pride and ask for your help. For us to stay open, we need financial help from you, the gaming community. We will continue to do our best to offer a fun and safe atmosphere. And starting next week, we'll be opening our doors three hours earlier at 12 p.m. to gain extra revenue. Thank you for all your ideas and comments to help improve our arcade. We have noticed that with the addition of new window signage, a better buy and sell used console display, and with the continuing word of mouth that business has been drastically improving, we're hoping with future additions to games, RQ merchandise, and overall improvements at Rusty Quarters, we will continue to be the place to go for a good old neighborhood fun. Please understand that times have been tough and we truly need everyone's help just to get over this one-time financial hurdle. If you would like to give a donation, please click on the donate button below. And obviously there's a PayPal link and he goes on basically you've got it it's a quarter arcade who wouldn't want to do this I mean let's 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 talk about this for just one second it's an arcade it's very nostalgic which gamer doesn't like nostalgia moments with gaming oh that's very few because everyone enjoys it at some point you go oh yes I remember this game I want to play that game this is your chance so if you are a gamer you live in the Twin Cities and you want to go to an arcade for old time sakes, go. Rusty Quarters is on Lake Street. The actual address is 818 West Lake Street in Minneapolis. And we got a phone number for you too. 612-823-0551. There's free parking in the rear. Ha. Uh, you, you laugh too, I know. You can find out a little bit more about their business at their website, www.rqarcade.com. That's it for Monday. I'll be back on Wednesday with regular gaming news. Until then, I'll see you next time.